Okay, we had the new parts come through from the factory. We'll get them on the car ahead of FP1. What's going on guys, it's Luke22SV here and we're here for the 8th round of the Mixed Schumacher career mode for Season 2 here for the French Grand Prix and uh, I've come off the back of another win in Canada, our second of the season and Sal was third. Uh, we're looking quite high on confidence here and coming in with another upgrade of course, uh, coming into the French weekend. Uh, of course Renault, the uh, home manufacturers of this weekend, bring in some upgrades so they're looking to uh, uh, make hay with um, their upgrades and hoping to perform well on their home, home territory. Uh, but we ourselves are looking pretty good this weekend as well. Coming into France, uh, we got uh, another win, of course, coming off the back of Canada. Uh, we're, re we're in really high confidence at the moment. But uh, this is also a track which uh, got us our first podium this time last year, or last season, I should say. Uh, which and it got us third place, our first podium of the Welcome Mixed Schumacher career mode in France. And... Uh, if we can replicate that this weekend, that would be awesome. Heading straight into qualifying then. Uh, it's not one of my favourite tracks this either, but it was the place where I did manage to get my first uh, podium in this career mode. Heading towards turn one. It's almost sort of a blind corner, you don't really see it going into it. And uh, you have to break and just hit the apex. This time we didn't. And this is my best lap as well, so uh, obviously not really representing it our true pace. Because I just couldn't improve it. It was a little bit damp as well, as you can see on the screen. Uh, it was a little bit rainy and uh, just didn't have the 100% grip that I wanted and uh, not 100% confidence. And this is when the sort of uh, AI sort of just uh, get a better review as well. So damage limitation in qualifying then we're just looking to perform the best of possible lap. And uh, here we are on to the back straight. Uh, just nothing we can do here. We're just going to go foot down. Hopefully our engine's going to give us as much top speed as possible heading into the chicane and uh, getting that corner right though. And it was decent exit, decent uh, entrance into the chicane. Probably the best part of that lap. And now heading towards the tricky part of the track. And uh, part we uh, had a few issues with Ricardo last season because uh, we had a little incident with him. Uh, but uh, Ricardo is currently on provisional pole. And this corner just seems like it goes on forever. And then all of a sudden it just tightens up on the exit. And uh, we get the curb. And it was a decent exit out of that corner. And coming up to the uh, next l long left-hander. It's just a really long back end of the track this is. But uh, just really a difficult uh, last sector. If you haven't got the grip, if you can't hit the apexes, you're going to lose a lot of time. Now we're coming to the final corner and uh, just hoping to get a good exit. Didn't really get a good exit at all out of that corner. Coming across the line with DRS wide open. And it's going to put us into a provisional P9. So P9 then uh, at this stage. And it's not going to get any better than that. So we're going to end the session then. And we're going to stay in P9 in fact. So... Red Bull once again looking out the front row, Hamilton P3, Sainz P4, so Hulkenberg and Sainz doing quite well for Renault, only really beaten by the Red Bulls and Hamilton, but uh, yeah, there you can see Ferrari struggling once again, and we're in P9 then, so what can we do in the French Grand Prix as we now look onto the race and see everyone else as well on the grid, McLaren really struggling this season as well, they're starting to fall back into the clutches of Williams, we head into the race then for the French Grand Prix. What can we do from ninth on the grid? Uh, a place where we got our first podium here last season. So Hello, hopefully we can replicate that. But as you can see, it's raining a little as well. So worse conditions, the the conditions in the race than it is uh, in qualifying. We will have to start on the intermediate tyres for sure with the weather like that. It's definitely coming down quite hard. Uh, but light rain, it says there. So it's going to be intermediate conditions then for the French Grand Prix. If we look at the grid uh, for the French Grand Prix, the starting lineup, Daniel Ricciardo leading from pole position. Verstappen second, Ricciardo championship leader at the moment. Uh, Hamilton third, Sainz is fourth. And then you can see Leclerc, Hulkenberg, Raikkonen, Ocon, myself, and then Vettel, all in the top 10. Bottas again outside the top 10. Perez 12th, Magnussen, Hartley, Alonso, Grosjean, Stroll and Sorokin on row 9 because Gasly and Stoffel van Dorn have penalties. Uh, but that is that for the grid then. Move on to the start for the French Grand Prix. Where can we go from here in ninth place? It's the five red lights. Come on then to start the race. Where can we go from here? It's lights out and away we go. We're just about to find out in the next 13 laps then. We get off to a fairly decent start but everyone else getting through the gears much better than us. For some reason, that's just the thing that happens on this game. Everyone else gets a better start than you. But going into turn one, we're almost chopped off by Esteban Ocon there. A bit naughty from him. But uh, we're now looking to get past him. Not losing any positions there off the start. Not gaining any either. It's a short run into turn one. But looking into the next right-hander. Next sort of little chicane. Again, Ocon looks to close the door on us. I don't think he's realised we're actually in this race. But we now do get past him. 
and uh, spotted an opportunity. Raikkonen leaves the door open and Hulkenberg forces Leclerc back. So now Leclerc is our teammate in front of us. Leclerc's had a difficult start to this race. He's lost position to Hulkenberg. So now we've got to see if we can get past our own teammate. That would be good news for us if we can. Uh, Hulkenberg looking good uh, off the start then for Renault. The Renault really would look like a good result around here. But of course, Red Bull again looking like the strongest team as we've seen that a lot this season. And uh, someone running deep there into turn, um, whatever that turn is. Uh, but Hamilton looks like it is. And the Red Bulls are pulling away at the front by the looks of it on the minimap. Ricardo leading the way and uh, Leclerc ahead of us. So can we catch Leclerc? Uh, at the end of this lap, it looks like a few cars and we almost get out of shape there because it's quite difficult going around these long, uh, fast corners. It's uh, very little grip for myself. All the AI are uh, basically robots and just uh, can drive like it's a train track, uh, which is uh, something I would like to be worked on for the next F1 game for sure. But uh, enough about uh, that for now. We're looking at... Uh, the end of this lap then and we're going to be P7 so we've gained two positions on Raikkonen and Ocon can we gain another one on Leclerc perhaps into the final quarter uh, perhaps got a bit too greedy there and uh, have to settle for P7 at the end of lap one so not too bad Ricardo leads the way uh, Schumacher myself is seventh and Raikkonen now looking to make a move past us into turn one perhaps uh, not really a best overtaking opportunity into turn one it's not really a, a heavy braking zone and uh, we do manage to keep, keep ahead of Raikkonen then for, for now and uh, hopefully we can look on to see if we can catch up with Leclerc and our, everyone else in front of him. Uh, so it's obviously a wet race. It's going to be difficult to see if our pace is going to match up to the AIs. But uh, a good start then uh, for us. Uh, it's obviously a good launch, but everyone else just gets better into the gears and everything else. But coming to turn one, we're almost getting past Ocon, but he closes the door. And uh, almost, well, getting past Ocon again, despite him closing the door again to the next couple of corners. As you can see, everyone bunching up uh, towards the next few, few corners and we get past Ocon and uh, then spot the opportunity to get past Raikkonen, who's uh, just getting bogged down. It's everyone's a concertina effect. You can see signs actually there with Hol uh, Hamilton. So signs at this point was ahead of Hamilton, so didn't really see that happen ahead of me. So signs got ahead of Hamilton. Hulkenberg got ahead of Leclerc. So both the Renaults gained them position off the start. Good news for them. And they're at their home Grand Prix. Uh, Renault would love to do well here. But uh, as you can see, going up towards there, you can see Hamilton and Sainz actually go side by side. So Hamilton going back at Sainz. But uh, I don't think anything came of that. I uh, can't really quite, can't quite see from here. But we're right behind Leclerc at this point. So we were looking very close to him and hoping to get past him. But actually, it does look like Hamilton has got past Ham uh, Carlos Sainz. So Sainz, having got ahead of Hamilton, is now back behind him. Now Hulkenberg chasing as well. So looking good here from the start. Uh, coming around the next part of the track basically sector three uh leclerc ahead of us uh he's a french speaking person as well so he'll be looking to do well at, at basically what is his second home grand prix um raikkonen will be hoping to get some more points for ferrari ferrari really struggling this season with reliability and now they're struggling with performance as well because they cannot get near the front of the grid despite it saying they have one of the best cars as well so difficult times for ferrari uh, maybe they should sign a Schumacher or something like that uh, but uh, enough about that as well as we come up to the end of lap one getting a poor exit out of the last corner sees Raikkonen smell an opportunity to get past us into the first corner as we head into the first corner ahead of him just about Raikkonen staying behind us this time but uh, we are ahead of him and Hamilton you can see both the Red Bulls miles away but on lap two now we're behind Leclerc are we going to think about overtaking into the chicane we do not think uh, it's the right opportunity to get past him a bit too far away this time so perhaps get a good exit this time we do get a much better exit than Leclerc right behind him now but uh, the quarter coming up next is a long right hander probably not an overtaking spot unless you want to go off the track with both cars this is something we do not want to do with our teammate so coming up to the next corner spot the opportunity dive down the inside and we take sixth place away from our teammate Heading uh, towards the end of this lap, we can see Hulkenberg now is our next target. Can we move towards him? Or uh, is Leclerc going to fight back? And uh, we do outbreak ourselves a little bit there. Uh, as, or maybe it's just a different line to the AI, hoping to see if we can uh, perhaps get an advantage over these guys. But uh, get a bit out of shape there as well. Uh, very difficult conditions this is. Uh, it's not easy to drive in the wet on this game. Um, it's, even with traction control, it's just a bit slippery. And this time, Max Verstappen sets the fastest lap, so he's going after the lead of this race with Ricardo uh, ahead of him at the moment. And we head on to lap three then with Hulkenberg ahead of us. Can we get past him? 
Is there an opportunity to get past Hulkenberg? Got, uh, no, maybe we can get onto the podium again uh, with this pace that we've got. Sauber looking fairly strong this weekend as well, uh, but Renault looking stronger and Red Bull looking really strong and Hamilton at the moment looking really strong as well. Hamilton, uh, despite Mercedes slowly falling back in development, Hamilton's always been able to get the car up there on the grid, uh, which is something that's a bit of a surprise. Uh, that Bottas really struggling as well this season. And now we are really close to Hulkenberg. No DRS, of course, in the rain. Can we get a move on him into the chicane where we almost got one on Leclerc this time last lap? We do, he looks too far. We dive down the inside, lock up a little bit, bang wheels, but we do manage to get past him. Uh, a, a little a late breaker move, a uh, good move though, and we do manage to get past Hulkenberg, uh, who we do not have any problems with there. So a late breaking move it was a risky move but it came off okay and uh, almost getting out of shape again almost in spin that time we were, had to really uh, just correct ourselves and then we go off the track again now so struggling here and uh, Hulkenberg's going to smell the opportunity to get back past us so Hulkenberg does now get alongside us but uh, we hold the lead ahead of him but again just really struggling to get the car turned and now Leclerc smells his opportunity and gets past Hulkenberg now we're side by side with our teammate Leclerc who gets ahead of us. So Leclerc in two places there and Leclerc runs into the side of us and we go off the track. But now Hulkenberg and Leclerc are just right behind us. You see Hulkenberg now getting, gets back past Leclerc but Leclerc is now down to ninth again, uh, down to seventh again. And now Hulkenberg is looking to get past us on the back straight, on the main straight towards turn one. Leclerc side by side and uh, we sort of slowed down a little bit there to see if Leclerc could get past him. And indeed Leclerc has managed to get past uh, Nico Hockenberg almost then but no Hockenberg fights back and uh, well there you go it's Hockenberg and um, Leclerc fighting really very hard and again Leclerc on the mini on the mini screen there gets ahead of him and uh, well P5 and P6 for the Salvers at the moment so both the Salvers managed to dispatch Hockenberg uh, good teamwork there from both the uh, Salber guys uh, although coming on to the end of lap 4 uh, we're now struggling again and uh, you can see Leclerc is behind us coming up to lap five. A little bit of a poor exit again out of the last corner. A corner we've struggled with a lot this so far. And Leclerc going towards turn one sees an opportunity to get past us. And uh, well, we, he almost gets ahead of us into the exit of the corner. But we get a better exit on the wide exit uh, out of turn one. And uh, now keep hold of P5 ahead of our teammate. Both of us looking to uh, perhaps settle for P5 and P6 at this stage because signs. Hamilton and both the Red Bulls looked like they're too far away to even consider catching because uh, we're not scheduled to stop either at this point. No one's scheduled to stop, I don't think. Uh, but because of the intermediate condition, intermediate tyres, they should be able to last the whole distance uh, in this race. So we're happy with that. And we're just going to try and keep going as fast as possible and see if we can get 13 laps on these tyres. And uh, hopefully it looks like we're going to have to try and settle for P5 unless we can start getting in some more pace and close in on signs. Hamilton and potentially the, both the Red Bulls as well, who haven't actually pulled out a huge gap yet from Hamilton or Sainz, although it's lap five. We're almost halfway through this race, but uh, now we're starting to see if we can get away from Leclerc a bit. Now, again, they're getting out of shape, uh, but looking good for us at the moment. We're now, after fighting Leclerc off, it looks like we're managed to go, gonna, gonna be able to keep ahead of him for now. Hopefully gonna stay ahead of him. Uh, and hopefully it's our number one driver superiority in the team. And uh, that would be getting us, uh, hopefully, in Ferrari's eyes as well, which would be awesome for us. And, uh, well, who knows? Uh, but we've definitely done covered ourselves in some glory this season with a win in Canada, or 12th on the grid, and obviously a win in Spain as well, uh, despite colliding with another Ferrari, which may not have uh, impressed them too much. But coming on to the end of lap six then, uh, we've got Leclerc still behind us, so Leclerc not causing us too many problems at the moment but we're coming towards the end of this lap and actually you can see on the mini map signs ricardo have both pitted so why have they pitted are they do they need to pit or do we need to pit i don't know what's going on but um they apparently think that everyone a lot of people are now pitting so potentially it's looking like a one-stop strategy here when it looks like it's going to be a no stop for us so that's helped us uh, for some reason, our, our, the Sauber boys have said, "Don't we don't need to pit, you guys," but and uh, everyone else is pitting. Well, we're coming towards the end of this lap then, 
Oh, seeing if everyone has pitted. We've got a DRS failure for some reason. That, but that's irrelevant because we, we don't need the DRS and we've got Leclerc right behind us. So Leclerc now then is looking to challenge us into the chicane. This could be for the lead of the Grand Prix if the guys in front of us now come into the pits. I don't know what's going on at this point. Uh, the Leclerc on the outside. Uh, we do shut the door and keep ahead of Leclerc. What is everyone else going to do? Because both the Force Indias are still out. Uh, just a lot of, basically everyone apart from ourselves and the Force Indias have pitted a car at the moment, and all the rest of the, uh, all the number twos in the teams are going to pit their car. This, this, that, by the looks of it, unless uh, it's just, I don't know, unless it's just uh, drivers deciding to pit. We'll see at the end of this lap, though, whether Hamilton or Verstappen pits from their position, because the tyres for us seem fine. They can do the full distance. They're only about. 30% I think uh, on the fronts and the rears they seem fine so myself and Leclerc were a bit surprised to see everyone else pitting whilst we carry on uh, but we can't complain about this so we're going to be on the older tyres and perhaps going to lose a lot of time to everyone else and you can see Hamilton and Raikkonen behind us pit so everyone pitting behind us Verstappen pits myself in P1 now and Leclerc's in P2 Although he's going to be trying to get P1. So Sauber have pulled off a massive stroke here perhaps by not needing to pit the cars. Maybe it's the chassis upgrades we bought which improved the tyre wear um, that have allowed us to stay out on the track. But uh, Force India haven't pitted either but Verstappen's come out in third. So Red Bull is still looking quite strong. But Force India uh, are there or thereabouts in the points as well. So coming towards the end of this then. We, we got, we're leading the race then from our teammate, first and second place. We've got our second gap to our teammate now, so looking really good for us. Uh, and a really unexpected result at this point. Uh, for some reason, everyone's pitted, and uh, yellow flags also are out on the main straight. So someone's had an incident there, perhaps. There's a few cars that have stopped there. So there seems to be a crash at turn one. Hopefully the safety car doesn't come out, because that would undo our strategy, and we definitely have to pit then, because... We'd be on older tyres and we'd be sitting ducks if the safety car came out. But as you can see, there's a car that's been cleared away now. So 19 cars in this race. And it looks like there's a Ferrari missing. So is that Raikkonen or is it Sebastian Vettel? It is Sebastian Vettel. He's out of the race. And uh, oh, we're going to have to see what happened there because there was a lot of yellow flags at Turn 1. Um, both the McLaren seem to be in trouble. The Haas seem to be in trouble as well. Here's Sebastian Vettel coming along the main straight. Hulkenberg comes out of the pits. And uh, straight into the back of Hulkenberg goes Vettel. Uh, there was the problems about that in real life. They, they thought that the pit exit was dangerous. And as you can see, it's been proved on the game there. And uh, both the Haas of Grosjean and both the McLarens get caught up in that as well. So uh, I don't really know why they both all came to a stop. But that's cost both the McLarens dearly, who are at the back of the grid anyway. Both of them have got front wing damage and both of them will have to come back to the pits. So a complete disaster for McLaren. Alonso and Van Dorn both coming into the pits then as we come across the line to start lap 10 now um, leading the race you can see Alonso again almost in another pit lane collision uh, we just comes out of the pits it's a really bad pit exit that is and I think it has been changed for the 2019 season I think they're using a slightly different pit layout although I'm not entirely sure if there's any truth to that but I think it's a little bit different to last year um, in 2019 but we're starting to lose a lot of grip on these tyres now um, despite being able to do the full distance of course we're going to struggle against the guys on fresher tyres which is what Verstappen is on right now and he's closing in the gap to myself and Leclerc uh, I think that is Alonso behind us though but Verstappen is on his way so we're going to have to watch out for Verstappen and the question is whether we can stay ahead of Leclerc or whether we're going to lose that position to him and perhaps have to worry about Verstappen as well which is uh, something we don't want to worry about we want to get three wins our third win of the season and a second win in a row that'd be awesome for us and awesome for the team so if we can pull this off this would be an awesome result a one two for Sauber who would have thought that would happen but uh here we are uh, at this point in the season second in the constructors with um Red Bull dominating at the moment but uh we're starting to come after them a little more now we've won two of the last well three of the last four races uh Monaco was won by I think Red Bull as well but we're going off the track there we're struggling for grip and our engineers now starting to say that look uh, the engine the tires are starting to go off a little bit but we're only 50% done so I don't really understand why we had to pit we, the tires are still going to be able to make the end no matter what 
Uh, we're going a bit off again at the last corner. That last corner has been a right nightmare for us. But Leclerc now looking to make a move into turn one, perhaps. Is he going to be able to pull it off? Leclerc really getting alongside us now. Remember, he was on the inside when he made a move a couple of laps ago. But being on the outside is apparently the best way to go. So he almost did make a move then, but we banged wheels. And he had to stay behind then for that point. We're in P2. Oh, he's in P2. We're staying P1. Apparently that's a good overtake from me. Or all I did was defend from Leclerc. But thanks, engineer, anyway. Uh, thank you. But uh, we're moving on then to the end of lap 11. And we've got two laps to go to see whether we can keep ahead of Leclerc. Because we're starting to really struggle on his tyres. Leclerc will be fine because he's an AI. And uh, going into turn one, staying in P1. Not quite close enough to make the overtake. And uh, Brendan Hartley is now out of the race with an engine failure. So, disaster for Brendan Hartley, but he was nowhere near the points. But Leclerc then going down the inside. Uh, almost getting through, but we should close the door. Do not want him to come through. And uh, we're desperate to keep this win. Desperate to keep our number one superiority in the team. And uh, to see Leclerc getting past us, that would be horrible for us. But uh, coming down now, we now got just one and a half laps to go to see whether we can keep this lead over our teammate. It'll be a huge result for us, a delight for us. And uh, that's all we want. Just want to see if we can stay ahead of Leclerc. And it looks like we got safe for the time being. We managed to force him out and he's just kind of backed off a little bit now. So hopefully we can stay ahead uh, and keep the lead. And this will be the first time we got a 100% podium record at this track as well. So that'll be obviously something to add to our collection. And uh, as you can see, yellow flags there. So no overtaking into that corner. We're almost in a spin there as well. So uh, got to be careful that, that uh, corner ne ne uh, the next lap because that's the last time we have to go around there. So we really do, wanna, do not want to be taking any more risks uh, in this race. But just one a lap to go after the, the end of this lap happens. But again, struggling to keep the car on the track, especially at that point as well really struggling this will be a huge win because uh, it's been a track that we've just struggled to uh, keep the car on to be honest but, uh, with one lap to go but it's looking pretty good for us then with uh, Leclerc in second it could be a one two unless Verstappen has something to say about that but it's only Verstappen who can do something about that at the moment uh, well myself and Leclerc could do something about that as well which is crash into each other but uh, we're on the last lap of the race and uh, we got it all to lose now uh, just with one lap to go we've got a nice little lead over Leclerc now so hopefully we can bring it home in P1 what a race this has been though from ninth on the grid again uh, it's been a little it's been a bit a little bit different to how it is last season because this time last season we would qualify high and then fall down but this time we've been qualifying quite low and then moving up um, that is probably the best way to go it's weird that we were bad in qualifying this season and better in the race this season and we were bad in the race last season, good in qualifying last season. But uh, that might be down to the car as well, might be down to how uh, I've improved as well, how Schumacher's improved as a driver. And uh, coming towards the end of this lap then, just got a couple, well, mo a few corners left in this race. And it's looking like a comfortable win, almost purple there in fact, Don't, um, purple sector. But coming into this corner, we're out of shape and we have to correct and we're off, off, off the track and uh, that's opened the door for Leclerc can we keep on the track are we going to be able to keep it Leclerc uh, Leclerc is there we, we do manage to get back on and stay ahead of him we we really desperate not to lose the lead on the last lap of the race that would be a huge nightmare for us uh, but again almost going off really can we keep ahead of Leclerc now because our tyres are really going off the cliff Leclerc has managed to stay on but we are lucky to be ahead of him at this stage after going off then he get got ahead of us but we did manage to uh, carry enough speed into that corner to stay ahead but come around the final corner of the final lap it looks like we are just about going to be able to stay in first place and we do cross the line to win the French Grand Prix making that two podiums at the French Grand Prix in a row and uh, two wins in a row as well three out of the last four races have been won by us so a delight for us and uh, a long episode as well but uh, there was a lot of action in that uh, race. And, uh, well, Frederick Vasseur is going to get used to winning at the moment. Because Sauber have won four of the last five races now, I think. And uh, onto the podium we go. You can see ourselves up there with Leclerc and Verstappen. Uh, Red Bull will be disappointed to lose another race. Despite having the best car, they haven't been able to make the most of it. And uh, are they, are they going to have to look over their shoulders anytime soon towards myself and Leclerc? Closing in on the drivers and constructors standings.
It's what we are doing as well. So this then, is uh, great news for us. You can see one, two, the and then the Verstappen third, well, the Hamilton fourth, Ricardo fifth, Raikkonen, Perez, and Ocon did quite well in the end. Four Force India gained a few places. Renault struggled at the home Grand Prix. Not a good result for them. Grosjean got a penalty. Uh, don't know why Grosjean got a penalty. We got driver of the day. We're about to see. It was probably to do with that incident. He got a penalty for illegal blocking. So, a bit of a disappointment for him. We are second. We're now 12 points behind Daniel Ricciardo. So, it's all to play for now at this point in the season. We're a third of the way through the season. Uh, can we challenge for the title? That's a question that will be answered in the next few races with upgrades but that's going to be the end of the episode for now i'll see you guys in a couple of days time for the austrian grand prix thank you and like and subscribe and i'll see you soon